our crew finally arrived, we had a celebratory beverage, went to our favourite resort for a last dinner and finally set sail into open ocean. This week we're all at sea. I'm not ready at all. to Bermuda and all is going well so far. Um, we started off with about 17-18 knots and uh, that's kind of dropped off and swung slightly further to the south so we're now in a beam reach which is nice we're not beating into it anymore. Um, our speeds slowed down a little bit we were making an average of about 6.9 knots which was great but now it looks like we're doing more kind of five and a half, six, which is still pretty good. Um, the seas, the, the swell is probably about a metre and a half, which is what was forecasted. Uh, and it's forecasted just to continue to drop off uh, over the next few days. So this is pretty doable at the moment. It's a little bit bumpy, but nothing crazy. Um, and all in all, we're having a pretty nice sail. We're just trying to get the self steer to behave. It's pretty good, but our wind angle keeps changing because the wind strength keeps changing at the moment, so we just have to keep a close eye on it. Um, we've got three other, well, we've got two other boats right next to us, and a third on the AIS about two miles away. There's a fourth in our flotilla, but I can't see him, and he doesn't have AIS, so I'm not quite sure where he is, but we heard him on the radio this morning, and he's with us somewhere probably with the um, the first boat. Um, we caught a Mayu Mayu which is very exciting and uh, it was a big one as well uh, and then unfortunately not only did our fishing rod snap as we were kind of trying to manage him on the deck but when Nick went to gut him it turned out that he had all these worms in his intestines which was enough to put us off so yeah he was completely uh, infested with worms which is kind of gross so he went back over the side I'm afraid there may be people who would have eaten the, the fish anyway but no we've got enough food I'm not eating worm infested fish anyway we do have a spare fishing rod um, so it's not too disastrous and uh, you know, maybe in a day or two we'll, we'll put the line out again and um, give it another crack. I think everyone's happy. I went out and tried to cut a pine tree down Fell through the ground This must be a nest I got rocks and sticks against my chest I'm my Alice Dear Queen of Hearts I'm a grow you white rose say, So you can learn to Just trying to get this uh, stuff stairs to sort out Oh, oh, oh. To all his 
so you can learn to be kind. So it's our first evening um, at sea and I'm feeling really unwell. Um, which pisses me off because I never get seasick ever. Nick's always the one who's feeling like shit and I'm always the one being like, nah, it's all cool. And Nick and Shana are fine and I'm like, I'm feeling really unwell. Um, which sucks, I have a very intense sympathy right now for anyone who gets seasick regularly because it blows and I've not even actually been sick. I've, I just feel disgusting and yeah I was one on dinner duty, I was cooking dinner and I think that just made it all worse. So I realised that um, I haven't been sailing, like proper sailing. I don't count just I don't count just um, motoring around in the sea of Abaco. But I haven't been sailing in almost a year since May last no, since June last year. And it's May now. So that probably explains that. Yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna go I'm going to sleep, I hope. Yeah, I hope you feel better in a couple of hours. So once again, I'm in bed. <laughs> um, this is our third day. And uh, yeah, the weather's been pretty rubbish. It's been like really squally. We knew that there was gonna be squalls, but I don't think we realized it was gonna be quite this bad. We've had like 25, 30 knots um, on and off throughout the morning. Um, and yeah. The wind is usually coming kind of about 60 degrees um, to starboard, so yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable sometimes. But you know what? Like, the boat handles it really, really well, um, considering we're beating into 25 knots of wind. You know, the boat's actually more comfortable than I would expect. Um, and you know, Nick and I both, well, Nick, Nick was feeling a bit seasick the first couple of days and I was feeling unwell the first day. We're both feeling fine now, um, as fine as you can feel when you're getting like an hour's sleep per night. Um, so yeah, this is going to pass and uh, I'm just hoping that tomorrow is a little bit better. Around this greasy slot for five days. 
This is not what we signed up for, was it? No, I really wasn't And this is the first time the sun's been out in five days. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, join us on all our social media and next week we finally arrive in Bermuda. Tie the boat up and enjoy a well-deserved rest. See you next week.